My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Welcome, bad bitches of the world. How is everyone? So today's video is going to be my March favorites. I I said I wasn't gonna do favorites videos anymore, but let me tell you how hard it was to not film favorites. I'm like, but how am I supposed to talk about the makeup that I liked and I didn't like? So I'm like, you know what? These are honestly like my were my favorite videos to make. They still are. So I'm gonna keep making them. If no one watches them, at least I, I will be vocalizing my favorites and it won't be bottled up inside me how much I love these products. <laughs> I know. That's a problem everyone deals with, right? They have no one to talk to you about their favorite makeup. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to see what my favorite beauty products have been, then keep on watching. And if you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Alright, well let's get right into my favorites. Alright, I'm going to start out with hair. I have one hair care product. It is this L'Oreal El Vive Rapid Reviver uh, Color Vibrancy Deep Conditioner. <clears throat> so I received this from Influencer, Influencer, and this is a deep conditioning mask that you only have to leave on for 60 seconds. Now I had tried a conditioner like similar to this, like same idea, by Phyto, and you know it, it was a conditioner that you put on and you could rinse out immediately, and it was supposed to have the same effects as a deep conditioner. That conditioner was horrible. Like, my regular conditioners were better than that. So, I didn't have very high expectations for this. But, oh my god. This, I'm, gonna, I'm able to say this confidently. This is the best conditioner I have ever used on my hair. It is so good. And you only leave it on for 60 seconds and it works better than masks that I have that I leave on for 15-20 minutes. My hair has never felt so as soft as it does using this. I am obsessed. I will definitely be repur purchasing this. The next product is this Ole Henriksen or Goodnight Glow Retin ALT Sleeping Cream. Whoa, so it's like a light lavender. When I first put it on, I was like, ooh, this is really luxurious and like creamy and super, super hydrating. And, you know, I put it on, so went to sleep, like, you know, regular mask. I woke up and looked in the mirror. I was like, what is going on? My skin was literally glowing. I was like, oh, holy shit, like, that stuff is magical like I could not believe the appearance of my skin when I woke up in the morning sensitive skin or can't tolerate like full strength retinol then this will be awesome for you because it has the same benefits but it doesn't it's not as harsh all right now we're gonna get into a little bra products the first one is this flawless Oh shoot, what is, what's it called? It's like the brow hair eliminator. I actually did a review of it, but this has been life changing for my brow routine. I just maintain my brows myself and I just think this is so amazing and so easy to use. This you can get into all the areas and it does an amazing, amazing job. I cannot believe how well this works. And the way I maintain my eye shape, um, I'm gonna. So the next product has a part, has a part to play in that. And I'm gonna be talking about the Urban Decay Brow Guides. So I have three of them. I got the rounder, the curve and the double top. So out of these, I really like 
the curve. I like the rounder too. I thought I was gonna like the double top the most and I do like the front part of it, but the end is really weird. Anyway, that's besides the point. These are brow stencils that are adhesive and adhere right to your skin. So you don't have to worry about trying to hold it there and fill in your brows at the same time. And this is also how I like to maintain my brow shape. So what I'll do is I'll just use one of these, fill my brows in, and then whatever excess hair is, you know, not within the lines, I go in with this and just it off. That way I know that they are even. I haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed or threaded in years. I haven't needed to. So that is definitely a cool little trick to maintain your brow shape. But I have been loving these just because I think it's a fun way to switch up your brow shape and it's just super quick and easy. I don't have to worry about cleaning up my brows with concealer once I'm done. The only thing, so I recommend doing this before, like doing your brows first if you're gonna use these. Before your eye make, makeup, before your foundation, everything. Because if not, then you are gonna be putting it over your eye makeup or face makeup and it's gonna come off with this. Woo. I love that they stick to your head. I've actually been able to get like two uses out of them. I'll use it once, put it back on the little sheet, and then use it again. And I'm not below using a glue stick. I've been considering like <laughs> getting a glue stick and going on the back when they don't stick anymore, but I was like, Natalie, really don't be that ratchet. <laughs> They're, it's only $12 for eight of them. <laughs> okay, so the next product is this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It's a, like a moisturizing powder. If you can believe such a thing. When you put it on, it's like there's a cooling sensation. And it feels like, when I first tried it, I was like, is my, I thought my brush was wet. I was like, oh, and then I realized that it was the powder. I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. It even has like a little seal to kind of help protect the moisture in it which is broken on mine, so every time I have to open it, it comes off. But it, it had a little sticker on there that said, do not remove. But, oh my gosh. The only thing I wanna say is if you're looking for a setting powder, this works well as a setting powder, but not with a damp sponge. I don't know why, it just doesn't like pick up the powder. It's, like when it con makes contact with the sponge, it kind of melts into the sponge and there's hardly anything when you go to you know, set your concealer. So I have been using it to set my concealer, but I've been using a powder brush and just setting it with that. And it, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful and it literally like just melts into your skin and your foundation and oh, wow, it's gorgeous. All right, so the next product I wanna talk about, it's fairly new to me, but not really. Let me explain. It is this Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Camouflage Corrector, and this is in Universal Highlighter. Now, I, I have the Taint Idol Camouflage Concealer. Girl, when I say I've never used a full coverage concealer, I am not joking. Like I save it for like special occasions and when I am really wanting to look like flawless and I want that like super full coverage. Now I got this it from Influencer to test out. I did a first impressions video, but oh my gosh. So it's the same consistency, same product basically. So it's I've been using it, but this is the highlighter one. And let me tell you, this is gorgeous. So what I have been doing is I have been mixing this in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. You can mix it in with any concealer you want, or it can also be used as a liquid highlighter. When I say it is stunning, it is stunning. 
I was kind of, I wasn't sure how it was going to look as a, con you know, ha having an illuminating concealer. I was worried that it was going to accentuate any fine lines or wrinkles, but no. It is so full coverage and it just makes your skin like glow and it gives the most gorgeous, beautiful, radiant finish that's not like shimmery or overwhelming. It looks like natural. Here's what it looks like. This, even though it, it's a thick formula, it is not drying at all. The consistency kind of reminds me of like the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, but that is drying. I'm not a big fan of that one, but this, perfect. Look at that. Look how full coverage and then just the beautiful glow that it gives. Oh my gosh. I have been using this almost every day. And even, and then once you set it with a powder, that glow like is still shining through. It's just, I'm going to be obsessed with it this summer. Oh, I am so in love with this product. All right, moving on. Oh. This Forsali Rose Gold Skin Mist, 24 hour gold infused hydrate and prime and set. Let's look at that. Number one, this bottle and this packaging is everything. It's glass and it's just like a heavy, like expensive bottle. Like I feel you are spraying flex of 24 karat on your face. Like if you didn't feel bougie when you use this, you will. You'll be like, I'm royalty, bitch. I spray it gold on my face because I can. <laughs> I have gotten a lot of setting sprays. I actually also got the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Setting Spray. And that's very similar to my MAC uh, Fix Plus in Gold Light. And I was, my concern was that I was going to be paying a lot more for something that was very similar to this. But when I tell you they are not similar at all, I, it's the truth. It's magic. For Solly has, first I tried it as a primer. And I sprayed it on and it was amazing because it looked like I had just spent time putting an actual primer on my face. Now, like this is, you know, supposed to be a, a primer and setting spray as well. But when I spray it on my face, like it gives it a glow and it hydrates, but I don't see it working as well as a regular primer. It's just very refreshing, you know, but this, it like made my pores look smaller and there was like a slight tackiness to it. And I could just feel like my makeup clinging to it. And then as a setting spray, woo, girl, it's so, so, so gorgeous. Probably the best setting spray I've ever used. First, I'm going to talk about, I want to talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that could be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. I want to talk about these Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. And this came in a set of four. I don't know what happened to my fourth one. <laughs> but they are like pearlized glitter glosses. They are so stunning. This is pearl. And it's kind of like, it's like a pinkish pearl. Look at that. One of the reasons I love these so much is because even though it is like a glitter pearl gloss, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like just a regular gloss. You don't feel, there's no like grittiness or like any glitter pieces in there like some glittery glosses can have. It is super comfortable. Okay, so n next is this Marc Jacobs, the Marc Lip Cream, and this is in Slow Burn. Number one, these, the Marc Jacobs 
uh, Lamarck formula is bomb. They are so creamy, so pigmented, and super long wearing. They just like grip to your lips and they're still hydrating, but it stays on there. For a lipstick, super long wearing. And this color, oh my gosh, it's right here. It is such a gorgeous, like, rose nude. Goes with so many different looks. It's very versatile, and I think it's a color that would go with so many different skin tones as well. It's just gorgeous. And the one right next to it is this YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Lip Stain in number 11, and it's called Rose Illicit. I have been wearing this non-stop. It is just the most beautiful pink. It's not too warm toned, it's not too cool toned. It goes with so many different looks and I think it's just perfect for spring and summer. All right, so next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera Palette. I have done a couple tutorials already, but even though I'm including this in my favorites, I wanna say I don't think this is an absolutely necessary purchase. And I just realized how unnecessary it probably was today when I was doing my makeup. I got, you know, whenever I'm starting to do my eye makeup, I'll grab like some colors that I'm gonna be using and put it in a little mini Z palette. And then I grabbed the Riviera too because I'm like, oh, that has some colors that I, I wanna use as well. And when I'm deciding what I want to use, I'm looking at what I put together, and here, I'm like, hmm, a lot of those colors look awfully similar. <laughs> and I started comparing them, and I have like almost exact, exact dupes for a lot of the color. These ColourPop shadows, so this is Issues. This is a dupe for Estate. It's a little bit like more orangish, but very, very similar. And then we have, this is Wait For It, which is almost identical to Coastline. Okay, Poodle is a dupe, a, like an exact dupe for Monte Carlo. So here is Poodle and Monte Carlo, and then Paper Tiger is an exact dupe for Cabana, and last but not least, Sandbar is an almost exact dupe for Bahamas. So that is why I say this palette is not necessary. and. <laughs> Now I realize just how unnecessary it was. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm, I didn't need to buy that palette. And my song for the month is Middle Child by J. Cole. I just pour something in my cup. I've been wanting something I can feel. Promise I ain't never letting up. Money in your palm don't make you real. Foot is on my neck, I got them stuck. Oh my god, what was that person in Adam's family? It. That's what I feel like right now. Hi guys, what if I filmed the whole video like this? Would you uns unsubscribe? <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, I love this song too. Much. All right, guys. So <laughs> those are my favorite everything's basically of the month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know some of your favorites for the month. Doesn't have to be makeup, just anything in general. I'll leave it down in the comments below. All right, guys. I will see you in my next video.